We're here, and so is everybody else. They're all here. Oh man. You know what's crazy? I feel like every time we come here, the parking goes up a dollar. Because the last time we were here, it was 16. And now it's 17. It's pretty nuts, right? I don't know, is it like a peak time? Is that why they do it? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Okay. One of the many reasons to get an annual pass with free parking, I guess. All right, let's get a few quick updates on what's happening over there in Diagon Alley. Oh, and I know a lot of you guys ask when the best time to come to Universal is. Not now. Don't come right now. Oh, I like that they're playing the song for the Blues Brothers as they go through. He's doing a solo with his mouth. Crazy gangsters on stilts. Wait, is this the Cool in the Gang song? Cause Cool in the Gang's playing tonight. Oh, well, they're doing dances. By the way, the monkey guys on the door of the Explorer float are the best. I don't remember there being these banana trees or birds of paradise or whatever they are over here, but they're very large and like established. Banana. Side note, why is there a karaoke stage here? It's for us to do karaoke, duh. Oh yeah? It's just a small town girl! I feel like saying home of the Springfield nuclear power plant is a lie. Mostly because there's gonna be one in California, but there's not one here. Here's an overview of Diagon Alley, right there. You can see it's coming along quite well. They got the bus out right there. We'll go get a closer look at that in just a minute. Yeah, looks like it's awesome. <laughs> Hey Universal, you guys want to make a lot of money? Change out this Homer sippy cup for a uh, Japanese Homer sippy cup. Oh yeah, You'll I would totally buy that. You'll make a million yeah. dollars. Also make the shirt in smaller sizes. They don't have it in smaller? No, That's a medium. I want it to be like a girl shirt. You want it to be like a baby tee? <laughs> like with your belly out and everything? Like no. a half tee? I know. No. And then like high-waisted shorts? No. So far, my favorite mug ever. It says, you fry it, I'll eat it. Can we go with the bus? Um, that's a good question. I doubt it, because that would be like very hard to get all these people in. Oh, oh look, they put a berm up with some trees on it. Ooh. Keeping the legend, or like uh, keeping it hidden. It smells like paint over here. They're not playing music over here anymore, which is weird. Maybe they heard my memo about Maggie Mae. <laughs> They're playing Mardi Gras music. Oh yeah, they are. But it's like back there. Oh no, it's very quietly coming out of these speakers. Let's hear it. guy has a, a scratchy hat. Yeah. Or is it itchy? I don't know. One of the two. The cat. Which one's itchy and which one's scratchy? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at him. <laughs> Last time we were here they had some uh, scrim up in front of this building and it looks like they just repainted it. It looks very nice and fresh and brand new. Oh, the karaoke stage is for Grad Bash. Grad Bash 2014, the scene is party, and it's take two. The first take was horrible. Brings forth a good question. How often do you think that they paint these buildings? Because like they're painting that one over there right now. And also, I wish we had been down here to see how they turn around this statue of Lou. Because uh, I thought they took it out for Mardi Gras. I don't think they do it when people are here. It's like Disney, it happens behind the scenes. No, no, I mean like the parade is tonight, but this statue is still here. Like I wanted to see them make that turn with all those huge floats. Oh, I see. Because right. they, they exit over there, like it ends again over there. 
Whereas normally it would end right here, but for whatever reason this year it, it isn't. Hmm. Unless, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. Hightower whiskey. Apparently single riders on transmorphers is uh, or animorphs. That's my new one. I like animorphs. Look at the size of this TV. It's huge. Uh, about 10 minutes is what they say. I like how we come to Universal, film the Diagon Alley, ride Transformers, and then just like we're leaving now. We're going to go to Antihito's and see if we can get some appetizers. Party with little beer cups. Oh, that's fun. I also kind of like this. Should I go to work wearing that one day? There's not really anything down Hollywood Boulevard or whatever this is, so they're like, Simpsons, Men in Black, Cadillac, Stilt People, uh, I'm sure there's uh, Scooby and Shaggy still. And then, I don't I don't know where Marilyn is. She's supposed to be in this Cadillac. Maybe she's not here today. I'm really terrible at photobombing, but I just pulled off like the best one that I've ever done. It was in between the Stilt People's legs. It was good. This would be such a nice picture if this globe didn't have all this writing all over it. Oh, dang, what the heck, the candy company? Baskin Robbins? What, what else? Is cigars still there too, or is it all gone? Cigars. Wow, yeah. everything. I wonder what they're putting here. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what they're putting here. I don't know if it was exactly a, a Baskin Robbins. It was definitely ice cream. I don't know. I'm gonna take this as a sign that Antihitos is gonna be pretty dead. I hope it's open. All these other places aren't open. We know, yeah. We'll find out. This is the uh, construction that they're doing for cowfish. what is it called? Catfish. What? Cowfish. Right. There it is. Also, Vivo Italian Kitchen. Here's the construction happening on the stairs like that lead down behind Rising Star. And that's gonna be Hot Dog Hall of Fame. Uh, again, Vivo. And I guess that's it. Another Universal store. If you guys listen, right here, there's a weird mix between Jimmy Buffett and Hootie and the Blowfish. It's kind of awesome. Oh, Antihitos was closed. So we're gonna, not gonna eat there. There's supposed to be a geocache somewhere on this thing. And our idea is to find it now. Maybe it's gone though. I guess it was supposed to be in this region right here, but I don't find it now. Seems like it's gone. I don't, <laughs> I like your English. I do not find it now. Aw, oh, darn it. Shoot. Dang. Oh well. Next time that there's one, we'll try to find it before it gets lost. <laughs> okay. Well, we looked, but it uh, appears to be gone. Because uh, they sent us a picture of where exactly it was and it doesn't look like there's anything there. We're here for the 30 seconds that Mythos is open. Let's have a look inside. All right, we put our name in for Mythos, and we'll see what happens. We have to leave at three, and it's like one, what did I say, 122 now? Yeah. So we might not be able to eat here, but we'll see. We're gonna eat it here anyways. Is this new, gonna be new over here too? Cause there's a, this is the entrance to Hogsmeade. And then there's the new construction over yonder. I can't reach up tall enough for that one. Let me go over here. Yeah. Yeah, see this is the station on this side. It's as tall as I can get, I'm sorry. There's a better shot. There's the station right there from this side. This is just some more theming. Some more theming over there. Look at that sweet uh, Hogsmeade uh, weather vane. It's pretty awesome. Let's get a zoom in on that one. There you go, looking out of Hogsmeade at the new construction. There's a guy, he looks like he's dancing, apparently, instead of working. Should we yell at him? Like, get back to work and stop dancing. Oh, it worked. Look, he's back. He's working again. All right. Never seen this before. There's a new, this This normally is like cast members only, and now it's open for the bridge here. Right? Am I crazy? Because I've never been across this bridge before. Yeah, that's a pretty intense view of the castle. I like the palm trees. Yeah, right in front of the castle and the snow. Look at that. And that's Bill Dratz right there. And there's a uh, Marvel area, the Marvel Island. This is the backs, head, backs of the Hogshead. And there's the bridge that where me and Jen got married on over there. Pretty sure it just goes back there to Jurassic Park where that two-story area is. If you guys know what I'm talking about. We're really contemplating Mythos because the menu is very small and it doesn't look too amazing, but they won like theme park, uh, the restaurant of the year from ThemeParkInsider.com back in 2004 though? So, I don't know. Like we have to give it a try because everybody says it's good, but it's not like there's stuff that we could get instead that would probably be better. Yeah, I should probably reconsider the way that you have this one displayed here at Universal. It's almost time for us to go inside. See, that's what I was talking about, Theme Park Insider, right there. The Hulk is right outside these windows here. There it is. You got all these fun like rock light fixtures in here. I like it. The best thing that this restaurant does that I've never had any restaurant do for us 
is on the way in. They say there's a washroom right here on my right as you pass by it. That's brilliant. That's the best idea any restaurant could do. That way you know where it's at the whole time. What's the first thing you ask is like, where's the bathroom? Yeah. So. Also, the theming in here is pretty sweet. It looks like a cave and there's like a water feature. I'll show you guys the water feature on the way out, right in the center of the restaurant. But look at that. It looks like a limestone cave. Jen's having a hard time deciding as what she's going to get. Leave me a comment down below if you see something that you would get. I, I really want to try this mahi mahi, but it's like $17. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Where was the mahi mahi? Right here. Oh, yeah. So you're thinking pan seared mahi mahi, crab cake sliders, or the cashew chicken salad. Which one would you guys do? This one, I probably wouldn't do because it has the least descriptive description out of all of them. You know what's really funny is before we came in here, Jen's like, I don't know, it's a really small menu. How long did you take oh to my decide? God, forever. <laughs> I was like, I'll have this thing. And then Jen's like, wait, I kind of want this. Maybe I'll get this. Well, because I was going to get what he was getting, but we can't both get the same thing. We have to, like, we need to share. Yeah, we have but to then again, them. you can't have what I'm having. Can't, I can have it, I just don't like it. I'll try it. I mean, I'll try it. Why not? We'll show you guys what we got when it comes. I know that it was like, oh no. I kind of think the risotto might be better. Better than crab cakes? Probably. Oh no. Better go get them. Some delicious universal butter on a heated plate so it's like melting? Oh good. <laughs> and uh, some sweet bread. It smells like, it smells oh, good. Like rosemary. It does. This has been your incredible Hulk roller coaster intermission. Well, yes, I will agree with you. That's not as much food as I thought it was going to be. But it's very pretty looking. It is very. Is that a Dorito? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got the burger, which it you know it looks like it fills out the plate, but there's a bun right here. Looks good. These are Parmesan fries. Is it a Dorito? I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Yeah. All right. But it's good. It's like a it's like a corn. It's like a taco fry. shell, but yeah. fry. So you got beef tips and risotto mm -hmm. with like remoulade, which is gravy. Well, no, this is a, it's a demi gloss. Oh, a demi gloss. Remoulade is like mayonnaise -y kind of. Oh, okay. So I don't know anything. I got Parmesan fries, and uh, this is the signature burger, which is like French onion swirls with um, barbecue pork and a burger way underneath there somewhere. There it is. Here's the crazy fish water feature. My favorite part about this whole restaurant going to Universal and everything is some person that I don't know that doesn't watch the videos or anything came up and wanted to take a picture with me because of my mustache because she has a friend that has the same mustache totally a normal thing for me but I feel like anybody else they'd be like what that and I feel like it's interesting for all the people like sitting around at the tables around me like what why what are they why oh goodness if there only was another way around Universal that wasn't been a big crowd of people all right hey Jen are you so excited that you finally got to meet Nicki Minaj <laughs> me too. You're our favorite, by the way. She even let me touch her eyeball. Yeah, she's so nice. Can't believe that you got you almost never meet such nice celebrities as Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the atmosphere. You have to forgive me. I will always film the Hulk because it's such a great roller coaster. It's my favorite roller coaster. That's mine. And I like Expedition Everest. Yes. This is Iron Man, code 62819. This is Iron Man? The energy that fuels my armor is almost depleted. If Magneto's assault continues, I will have no way to replenish my power supply. I have no idea what he's saying. No way. No way. That's all I keep hearing is no way. What's this? And all that I hear is uh, the X-Men are coming. Oh, ran into you. It's a security transport. And there's a safe above it. I like how they spelled security. Look at how puny this looks compared to uh, Falcon's Fury. Is it a power down too or is it a free fall? I think it's a free fall. Should we act like we're part of uh, the X-Men and everything? Is that a no? He's not an X-Man. What the heck? I can see Wolverine's underwear line. Run, Spooderman, run! I couldn't stop staring at Spider-Man's butt. Here's what I don't understand. How come there was such a mix of people? Like, here's Cyclops. There's some X-Men, Spider-Man, and Captain America. 
Like, I get they're all Marvel, but they're never, like, together, right? Well, they're together here at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. Orlando, Florida. So, oh yeah, I was gonna kick it too. It kind of looked like one of those, like, little beanie things that you kind of kick. So they, is it not gonna move now? She's remote controlling it right there, but she's not doing anything with it. I wonder if they sell them in the store. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> they kind of want one. By the way, if you guys ever come to Florida and you see these white flowers blooming, smell them because they're gardenias and they are glorious. Does anybody remember when the hard rack used to be like back there and have the Cadillac coming out the front? Anybody? Hey, look, it's that guy. He's giving them the tour. By the way, we're going back into studios. There's an entrance just underneath the Rip Ride Rocket here. Please come over here to get in because you guys will know the secret. There's no line and one person taking your ticket. I don't know what they're doing. They have like little tickets to get in maybe, I guess. Very strange. It says, please collect a queue ticket in order to experience this attraction. I wonder why. Yeah, the, everybody's out on stilts and stuff. Oh, jugglers. <laughs> Look at their sweet steampunk outfits. I like theirs too. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> They're like bomber pilots. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. How long did it take you to pull that? Since last February. It's like a year and a couple months. Okay, so last, last February. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Some nice, like, steampunk cowboy type people. Pretty awesome looking. Some more, like, Victorian type. Looking awesome. Everybody's got goggles. Literally all I've ever been saying is check out these steampunk people. Sir, epic moustache. Hey, Thank you. Hey, hey, we have good appreciation for such moustaches. Thank you. Just working on it. <laughs> one day. One day. We ran into Nisi up on the steps up there going through the French Quarter type area here. And she like yelled at us. She's like, hey, hey, how's it going? And we're like, hey. We ran up and said hi. Where did Jen go? This is, I'm scared. Oh, look, they're having such a wonderful family photo. Oh, that was really oh, they want beads. They have to do something for it. Well, maybe they wanted beads. Maybe they just wanted high fives. All right. I know a lot of people have jasmine too, but smell that as well. Does it smell like? Good. Yeah. Sorry, folks. We're not sticking around for the parade. We are on our way home. Ominous looking universal is ominous. Born and raised in South Detroit. Any day at Universal is always a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the updates on the construction and some of the food that we ate at Mythos. Now it's time for bed because tomorrow's Easter. So I will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.